click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends let us understand now the concept of capital gearing ratio which is one of the important balance sheet ratio balance sheet ratio means a ratio which is calculated by taking any two variables in balance sheet capital gearing ratio is such one of the balance sheet ratio which shows the capital structure of company depending upon the requirement depending upon the industry depending upon the policy different companies adopt different capital structures the rate of returns on borrowed fund is one of the factor which affects the decision of the company to go for a particular capital structure the selected capital structure helps proprietors that is shareholders to earn more or less returns this is very important ratio because it shows whether company is in a position to take advantage of borrowed funds or not company can borrow funds at a particular rate say suppose 10% by using that borrowed fund company may earn 15% so after paying 10% on borrowed fund balance 5% earn goes to shareholders that is called as what benefit of raising the debts and in that case company will be taking more advantage of earnings for the shareholders whether company is high geared or low geared it will be accordingly benefiting to the shareholders let us understand the concept capital gearing ratio gearing means the process of increasing the equity shareholders return through the use of debt equity shareholders through the use of debt equity shareholders are more when the rate of return on total capital is more than the rate of interest on debts this is also known as leverage or trading on equity the capital gearing ratio shows the relationship between two types of capital that is equity capital including reserves preference share capital and long term borrowings it is usually expressed as pure ratio this is also known as capital structure ratio formula is capital gearing ratio is equal to capital entitled to fixed rate of interest or dividend divided by capital not so entitled to fixed rate of interest or dividend capital entitled to fixed rate of interest or dividend means here we have preference share capital on preference share capital company is required to pay fixed rate of dividend plus debentures on which company is required to pay fixed rate of interest plus bank loans term loans given by the banks on which fixed rate of interest is payable to bank divided by divided by equity share capital plus reserves and surplus minus fictitious asset it is nothing but equity shareholders fund where there is no fixed payment of dividend by taking the division we get an answer which is a pure ratio what is standard capital gearing ratio
one is called as standard capital gearing ratio if after using the formula if we are getting answer one then that is considered as what company's capital structure is optimum and it is even suppose we get answer more than one then it is considered as what capital structure is more favorable and if it is less than one it is understood that company is focusing more on owner's fund that is equity shareholders fund and less on borrowed funds that means it is not taking advantage of trading on equity to understand this concept more precisely let us take one small example compare high and low gearing with the following here we have capital structure equity 15 lakhs profit and loss appropriation nil general reserve 1 lakh 7 percent debenture 3 lakhs 10 percent term loan 5 lakhs here equity we have 6 lakhs profit and loss appropriation 1 lakh general reserve 1 lakh 7 percent debenture 4 lakh and 10 percent term loan 12 lakhs here we have two different situations based on this we can calculate capital gearing ratio capital with fixed income in first case capital with fixed income we have two items 7% debentures 3 lakhs and 10% term loan 5 lakhs Capital with fixed income in case of low gearing case we got 8 lakhs in case of high gearing we got 16 lakhs. Capital with flexible income, equity 15 lakhs, profit and loss account nil, general reserve 1 lakh. So in case of low gearing case it is 16 lakhs. In case of high gearing, equity 6 lakhs, profit and loss account 1 lakh, general reserve 1 lakh, it is 8 lakhs. Capital gearing ratio is equal to capital with fixed income divided by capital with flexible income. In case of low gearing case, we are getting the answer 0 0.50 is to 1. As here ratio is less than 1, it is considered as what case of low geared company. In case of high gearing case, we are getting the ratio 2 is to 1. Here it is more than 1, so it is considered as case of high gearing. In this video, we have understood the concept of capital gearing ratio how it is calculated, what is its relevance and how it is helpful to understand the capital structure of company. Thanks for watching this video. 
Stay in tune with Ikeda and subscribe to our channel Ikeda. Thank you.